y'all, Andrew here, and today I'd like to show you Flipper, which is a gem that is very useful for using feature flags in your Rails applications. So Flipper has two versions. They have an open source version, and they, which we'll be using today, and they also have a cloud-hosted version called Flipper Cloud, which you can see at flippercloud.io if you're interested in that. Um, they have the documentation for both the open source and the cloud version together. And so one of the cool things about Flipper is they have a number of different adapters. They have support for Active Record, SQL, Redis, and a bunch of other ones. Um, today we're going to be using Active Record, and but I've used Redis for great success as well for this. So in our application, I am just doing a simple copy change that our marketing team might have asked us for. Um, that, but they still want to try it out with some users and see how it goes. So we currently show this really basic uh, line here, and then there's a new line with an emoji because emojis are the thing that everybody wants to add in their copy, right? So this is going to basically, we'll check that the feature flag is enabled and show the new line. Otherwise, we just show what we currently do. So that's kind of what we're working towards today. Okay, so Flipper has... Um, I mentioned it has a bunch of adapters. I'm using Active Record today, but absolutely you can try it out yourself and use however you would like. They even tell you how you can switch adapters if you change your mind later. All right, so we're also going to be installing Flipper UI, which is a, uh, gives you a local UI for seeing what features are enabled and so forth. So we will install that as well. All right, I'm going to jump into my terminal here, and I would run bundle add flipper dash active record and flipper dash UI to add both of the two the new gems we would like. And then because we're using active record for our backing of flipper, we need to run the Rails G flipper colon active record uh, script to generate our migration for us. We'll just run Rails DB migrates. That will create the table, and then we can hop into our code and create a flipper initializer. Uh, I have copied this in, but basically we require the flipper active record adapter, and then we are also going to register a, an admin group here to give us an easy way to add all of the admins in our app database uh, to have the feature flags. So in this case, we're just making sure that our actor, which you could think of as a user or perhaps a account record, we want to make sure that it responds to the admin method. And if it does, check that it is an admin. Okay, so now we can pop into our terminal and we can restart our server because we've added a new gem and initializer. And we'll go over to our routes file and we want to mount the Flipper UI um engine so we'll say mounts flipper colon colon ui dot app pass it flipper and we will say it will be located at slash flipper and because we're inside of this authenticate block um and we have this admin constraint only the admins will be able to access our flipper dashboard in production all right so going back to our app refreshing and if we load the flipper page you can see there is uh, no features we've added. So let's just add our quick feature of new homepage copy. We will add that and it's disabled for everybody right now. But you see we have support to add actors and different groups. So if we select add groups, you can see our admin group shows up here. So we could easily enable it for all of our admins. We can also enable it for a percentage of actors. So that will just randomly, that will just in ensure that say 50% of anybody who loads that endpoint will have access, or we can say 50% of the time it's always enabled. So a bunch of different options there, or we could just turn it on completely. Okay, so in our index page, I will switch this around so it reads a little cleaner. So we can say, you know, if flipper.enabled, and we pass it the uh, the feature flag name, so new homepage copy. And then the second argument you can pass here is an actor. So we'll say current underscore user in my case today. And then we can just do an else statement. And otherwise, if the feature flag is not enabled, we show the current, the old text. 
But if it is for that specific actor or user, then we want to show the new one. Refreshing this page, we now only see the old copy, and we can specifically enable it for our admin group if we'd like. And now we can see, because my user is an admin, I have access to that. Or you can conditionally pass in a Flipper ID. Now, what is a Flipper ID? That's a really great question. Uh, Flipper adds a model or method name called Flipper ID onto all Active Record backed uh, models. So if we open up our Rails console and we go user.first.flipper ID, you can see it's would be user semicolon one, and that's the ID of my specific user here. So we can paste that in here, and it will say it's enabled for that one actor, and now my one user has access, but other users will see the uh, old copy. Okay, so that is conditionally enabling it for specific actors or enabling it for groups. You can do it as well for a percentage of time. So you can say 50% of the time, it should be showing the new one. And if I just keep refreshing here, you can see about 50% of the time, uh, it shows the new one. Because it's random, you know, you could still see it repeatedly. Um, all right, and then we'll just fully enable it. And now we have the, the new one all the time for everybody. Or you can say like, this has been super useful in the past when I've, I've shipped something and it's been kind of broken. Um, it's quick to just disable it and then nobody will see that new code run anymore. All right, so that's um, a good demonstration in how you can use Flipper to do feature flags in your Ruby on Rails applications. Thank you so much for watching. I would encourage you to check it out. Bye.